is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. Uh, use your common sense. You know what they did yesterday? That they Chris Greer really didn't want to talk, but he came out just so they can shut down the part of the story that they were trying to, uh, um, you know, make the lady sign a non-disclosure agreement. That's really what is was all about. That's the only reason Greer came out. The rest of the stuff he'd rather address at the end of the season or at the senior bowl or something like that. That's usually what ends up happening. You don't get the, the general manager doesn't talk during the year. That never happens. It's normally, unless it's some kind of a general manager that loves the cameras or something like that. But normally your general manager, you get them at the beginning of the year. You get them at the end of the year. You get them on the, you get them at the, at the senior bowl or combine or both. And then that's it. Oh, and post post draft, you know, for each day. That's it. That's when you get the GM. I, I, I laugh at people like, oh, well, Chris Greer needs to talk. Well, no GM talks. None of them do. They don't come out and talk nowadays. They don't just address. They've never done that. They wait till the end of the year. So the only reason he came out yesterday, it's because that non-disclosure agreement part of the story was absolutely disgusting. And so when Tony Busby threw that out there, if the Dolphins were associated with that, you know, you would have to demand that Stephen Ross sell the team. Not sell. He already sold it, but pass it on to, I think, Bruce, uh, I think is his name, uh, I believe, uh, is the gentleman that's taking over after Stephen Ross. We, You would have had to, like, immediately demand that he, you know, steps away from the team because that would have been an absolutely disrespectful act to just, oh, well, you know, ladies, here, here's some money. You're not important. What's important is my football team, and let me get my quarterback. So yesterday's press conference went under the radar because they just wanted to get out one specific answer. That's it. They had to put up with the rest of the stuff that the media asked, and that's probably not what they wanted to do. You know? And if if they would have put out just a statement, that would have put more out there. Instead, they needed somebody physically to go out there and deny the story and deny it with conviction, which is exactly what he did. Let's not kid ourselves what happened yesterday. Yesterday was damage control. That's all it was. It was our, hey, yo, no, wait a minute. We're no, no, we never did that. That's a lie. We're not telling you that we didn't go out and try to trade for Deshaun Watson and 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 inquire, but we never approached the lawyer and the women about a settlement. Never. And that's what it was all about. Nothing more, nothing less. If Tony Busby doesn't say anything, Chris Greer does not talk yet yesterday. So, you know, let's use common sense here about what was going on yesterday. And I'm sh I got to tell you something. It might not have even been Chris Greer. It might have been a demand from up above. Like the owner must have said, uh, Chris, you need to go out there and make sure they understand we had nothing to do with non-disclosures. And I'm sure Dolphin lawyers were also part of that and all the, hey, man, we can't be included in all that. Let's go, you know. And so I'm sure there was a lot of buzz above Chris Greer about that that one part of the story. Because that would have been damning. I mean, it is something that, that that would wipe out your reputation as an organization, as an owner, if you were doing that. Okay? So that's what yesterday was all about. It had not, They didn't want to answer any questions about draft picks and, and Tua and all this other stuff. They wanted to answer that one question. And unfortunately, they had to put up with a few others. And that's it. That's what it was all about. This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show.